New for 2022, this is a Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Prince ATS TechStream Tour 98. Precision, power, and feel comes easy with the Tour 98, as this racket finds the perfect home between the 95 square inch model and the 100 square inch options in this family. Featuring Prince's anti-torque system with TechStream and Touron at 10 and 2 o'clock, competitors should find stability even when coming against the biggest hitters. Pair that with a stiffness rating in the low 60s and this racket is a must demo. This racket is quickly becoming my favorite of 2022 and one I'm even considering switching to. So throughout the play test, I kept loving how confident I was hitting with this racket and it felt so comfortable in my hands from the baseline to the net, serves and returns everywhere in between. I always feel a bit of nostalgia when I'm playing with Prince rackets and that definitely helped the play test. But I love that there was a great blend of control and power so I could be consistent through the point and wait for my short ball to attack. I was also moving forward really confidently which lately I haven't been doing that as much but I noticed I started finishing more points at the net the volleys were perfect this racket stays right in place point and shoot nice and simple I could get volleys nice and deep right up to the baseline and get my opponents popping the ball up so I could put the next ball away then on serve I just felt like my rhythm was perfectly in tune with this racket whether it's again that nostalgia or the weight and balance of this racket I really felt like the word slingshot kept coming up with for me when I'm in rhythm that's how my ground strokes and my serve feel so really love this racket it's definitely a bit lighter and faster than my normal rackets of choice but as I get older this is helping me out and it's so stable I didn't notice any lack of weight or maneuverability at all from this one I have a ton to say about this racket so I do suggest that you guys check out our full written review to get even more information but definitely one that I was able to test with several string setups and no matter what no matter how I was hitting what chord it was on I loved hitting with this TechStream Tour 98. This TechStream Tour 98 racket was something that worked for me from day one, just really naturally felt good in my hands. Um, I guess the standout from the baseline for me was uh, the launch angle was a little bit high, which worked really well with my game. And when I'm able to put really nice shape on the ball, that's where I can start really experimenting with angles and depth, and it leads to really confident tennis. Um, and then moving up to net, uh, I was also on the Texturing Tour 95 review, um, and these rackets were a little bit different. This one gave me much more confidence to really stick volleys, put them deep in the court, and also gave me the nice touch and control. Serving was also successful and comfortable. Um, the racket was never heavy over my shoulder, but still allowed me to hit with plenty of mass through the ball. Uh, it gave me nice access to spin, just like the baseline. This nice open pattern felt really good. Uh, returns, uh, again, user-friendly racket. So on return, I could, I could use that shape and directional control to really guide the ball where I wanted it to set up the point. So again, overall, just to reiterate, right, user-friendly frame. I think this is gonna be something that's massively popular this summer. It's gonna fit a lot of players with just its arm comfort um, and then enough mass to really put the ball away. And now we'll pass it over to our playtest team in Atlanta. What did you two think of the TechStream Tour 98? Thanks a lot, Sage. I was super pleased with the new Prince 298. I actually grew up playing on clay courts in Europe, so I really appreciate the racket that gives me that extra pop for my game, and this one did just that. Honestly, when I first grabbed the racket, I was struggling a bit just because of the kind of crazy launch angle. Um, so it took me a little time to get it dialed in, but eventually I really got used to it and I was able to actually utilize this to create that extra spin for my shots. I really enjoyed opening up the court with this racket, even from the baseline and creating those fun angles and pushing my opponents around. Thanks to the lower stiffness of the racket, the ball sits in the stream but a bit longer, which provided me with that extra response from my shots and a bit better feel, especially on my volleys and slices, which I really enjoyed. Compared to the rest of the rackets in the line, this one definitely feels the most comfortable and the most stable. All in all, it was a super fun play test for me. Honestly, I couldn't really pinpoint any negatives with this racket. If you play with a 98 square inch head size, definitely you should check this one out and give it a try. Now over the past year to two years, I've been hitting with pretty much any 98 racket imaginable. As someone who's always hit with 100 square inch rackets, I always wanted to try these out since they're in such high demand. Um, and every time I would try one, there would be something that would just send me back to my old rackets at 100. 
Um, but finally, with this Prince Tour 98, I think I may have found the one that I can stick with here. But with the new 98, I just find that it does have that control and that precision that you need when you're trying to do slices or angles. Um, but when you want to, you can really crank up and add a lot of power. The racket does offer a good bit of power to it. Um, as Jofi mentioned, it does have a little bit of a higher launch angle. Um, so if you're like a Tour 100P user and switching to the 98, I did find that this one has a higher launch angle, even though it is a smaller head size. Um, now I know the 100P is an 1820, so do expect a higher launch angle out of this, but that does mean if you're maybe looking at a 98, you can expect more spin versus a 100P. And I believe Jofi mentioned as well, but the racket also does have a nice crisp response due to the fact that it is a beam starting at 20 millimeters, moving up to 23 in the sweet spot and 23 also at the top. So you get a nice plush feel from that throat, but moving forward into your sweet spot, you get a really crisp response. Like Shofi again, I don't have much to complain about with the racket. I think it plays really well. Maybe if anything, the unexpected launch angle at first takes a little time to get used to, but once you do dial that in, and for me it didn't take long, uh, once you do dial that in, this racket is kind of a monster to play with. We strung our Prince Tour 98 with a couple different setups, some of those being Prince Vortex Triad at 50 pounds, Prince Vortex at 52, and a hybrid of Prince Diablo Prism and Prince Premier Control at around 54 and 56 pounds. For more information on this racket or any other tennis needs, be sure to check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, and Tennis Only. Thanks for watching.